If you have a Samsung soundbar that has a wireless subwoofer but it no longer works, meaning that the subwoofer does not connect with the soundbar, then, well, you are not alone. This uh, seems to be a common problem and the fix is relatively easy. Here, you can see that the soundbar is on but the subwoofer wouldn't connect. Therefore, you can still hear the sound from the soundbar, uh, but it will not give you the deep bass that you'd expect when the subwoofer is connected. In fact, the whole point of getting a soundbar is to get a deep bass with the subwoofer. This is the subwoofer unit which should be wirelessly connect to the main unit. You can see here that the red light is on. Instead, there should be a blue light on the right side of this red light. The constantly on blue light will indicate that the subwoofer is connected to the soundbar, but here it is not connected. Please follow these few quick steps to fix the connection problem. First of all, you will have to turn off the soundbar. Take the remote, point it towards the soundbar and press the off button. Now get a paper clip or a similar thin and firm object which you will need to reset the soundbar. Here I have used a paper clip slightly unbending a part of it. The procedure is uh, very much similar to opening a SIM card tray of an iPhone or any other smartphone. Now look uh, at the back of the soundbar. You will see a tiny hole which is situated to the left of the sticker. It is uh, marked as ID set. This is the one that needs to be reset. So let's reset it. Take the paper clip and insert it in the hole and press and hold it firmly uh, for about five seconds then take it out. You can now see that the blue light is blinking. While it is still blinking, take the remote control, point it towards the soundbar and press and hold the mute button. Your remote may be slightly different uh, from mine uh, depending on the, the model of your soundbar, but it should still have a mute button. Now you can see that the words ID set has been on briefly and then it, tur it turned off automatically. The next step is to press the on button of the remote to turn on the soundbar. The soundbar is now on. Look at your subwoofer now. The blue light is no longer blinking, rather it is now a constantly on blue light. This means that the ID has been reset and the subwoofer unit has re-established its connection to the main unit. Great! You should now have a deep bass coming out of your subwoofer. Enjoy! If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more video in the future. Thank you!